So we really messed this one up. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today you're just going to be hanging out with me. I am dedicating today a self-care me day. It started really early. I had a 7 o'clock doctor's appointment and for the rest of the day, I'm just doing a little bit of shopping. I'm going to get a pedicure and then Tonight, me and Rustin's gonna have a really good dinner. We bought some rib cap steak. It's our first time purchasing it at Costco and all we hear is good stuff about it. So we're gonna try that tonight. Does anyone else get so happy when they see dogs in the window of cars? I'm finally home, so let's do a haul of all the items that I bought today. And I'm also in the middle of doing a hair treatment, hence the bag on my head, so please don't mind. The first stop I went to was a beauty supply store. I wanted to pick up some products, some new shampoo and conditioner, just to give my hair a little TLC since I've been processing it a lot. And because I've been lightening it, of course, it's stripping my hair and it's feeling very porous and dry. So to replenish and restore store it. I am using Redken's Acidic Bonding Concentrate Shampoo and Conditioner. I also bought a conditioning treatment. It's a leave-in treatment that I have in my hair right now. It's not necessary to put it up in a bag and let it sit. You can actually use it and wear it. You can style with it and just it's more of a leave-in conditioner but since I'm home letting my hair marinate for as long as I can. It is my first time using this. My co-worker recommended these products to me so I'm pretty excited to try it out. It's always cool to try new products. The beauty industry is just constantly growing with more products and this one is pretty well known to do a good job. Another mask that I bought from Redken is the Color Extend Bondage. This one is more so a mask I'm gonna do in between to just help tone my hair because I did lighten it. This would just help to cancel out some of the brassiness. And then the last item I bought from the beauty supply store was this blowout brush. So it's not a full barrel. It I don't know if you can see it. It's only a half barrel with bristles, which I like because when I blow dry on myself at least, it's easier to just do this motion versus like constantly rolling it out. It's my first time trying this one again. This is a one and one fourth inch barrel. So I'm gonna give that a try. After the beauty supply store, I went to Target. My mission for today was to find some birthday gifts for my son. If I had to describe him, he loves his sweets and he loves his games. And when I say games, he loves, of course, online gaming, but he also enjoys regular family board games or when we have game nights. So I figured I'd go that route and purchase a couple of games that we can all enjoy as a family. It's a very old school game, but it's amped up a teeny bit. I'm pretty sure this one has been around for a while. I haven't played it. I don't think my son played it either, but it's Pictionary. This Pictionary, you can connect it to a screen. So your phone, your computer, your TV screen, and it has this wand that you draw the picture in the air. So the person drawing it has to really envision what they're drawing and the people who are guessing gets to see it on the screen, which I think is gonna be very entertaining and funny. That's the back. I've seen this in the store for a while now, so I'm pretty sure a lot of you have tried it. Let me know in the comments down below if you tried it and how much you like it or not like it. The next game that I found while I was in the game aisle, I honestly thought was misplaced. You'll know what I mean when I say that I thought it was in a completely wrong department. These are cereal box puzzles. I mean, they sell it just like this in the cereal aisle. And so when I first seen it, I was like, oh, someone didn't put it where it's supposed to belong. And I grabbed it and it felt heavy. Because you know cereals are less than a cup of cereal in each of these boxes, so it's usually really light. But it's pretty heavy and that's because these are all puzzles. And then I also bought him a few of the mystery boxes. Now if you have kids, I'm sure you are well aware of what these darn surprise mystery boxes are. I swear they get us every time. The kids love it. 
even though you get this puny little piece of plastic most of times that they don't play with they just like the anticipation of opening it up and not knowing what it is and having it be a surprise but I know my son enjoys it still it was under five dollars for each of these boxes and it has ten items in here obviously they're very small but still ten items is a lot usually you buy these mystery boxes and there's only one little toy inside this is the monopoly collection because it was on sale i bought two and then when i turned around i found more these are from a different collection also monopoly and this one has five surprises inside so all together he's gonna have 10 20 30 items out of these four boxes I got him these nerd clusters which are one of my newest favorite candies to enjoy as well and then I also have a gift card for him he likes to play video games so I got him a steam gift card which I'll just probably tape on top of the candy if you know me I am NOT high maintenance I don't buy high-end items brands uh, especially when it comes to handbags I'm more of a discounted type of shopper I love TJ Maxx as you all probably know I broke two of my favorite purses that are really the only ones I use. The first one that broke was this one here. It's not the end of the world with this bag. It is repairable. Because it had these handles, I figured, what the heck, I'll just use it like this. For me, it's more ideal to be hands-free. I don't like always having something in my hand. Even if it's on my wrist, I still feel like it's in the way. So I love the side strap because it allows my hands to be totally free. Of course, I'm not gonna get rid of this bag and eventually I will fix it. It's okay, I have another bag that I can use in the meantime. And that is this bag here. Rustin calls it my sushi roll bag. So with this bag, my zipper disconnected. I did get it back on. Me and my coworker Pascal team worked it and we were able to get it back on to its track. But in less than 12 hours, I accidentally ripped it off again. I felt like, darn, this is the second bag that I broke in less than two weeks. It was really frustrating. They both happened to break while I was at work as well, which was kind of funny, but not funny. After my coworkers seen that I had broke the second one, they're like, Sally, just get another bag. So I was like, I think it is time. And so today's the day I did find myself another bag. And surprise, surprise, it doesn't look very different from the other two. Clearly, I have this particular taste in bags. I love the straw material. I love the side strap. One has the jawstring, which I like. And this brand is called Straw Studios. I found this at TJ Maxx and it was $17. For now, they're gonna have to take a seat in my closet somewhere and I'm gonna have to transfer everything into my new bag. Ooh. All right, I gotta put this all away. I feel like making some clam dip. Oh, mailman's here. Oh man, I was just about to make my clam dip and I realized I forgot to buy sour cream. So I'm gonna run to the store and pick that up real quick. Bonk. Well, that sucks. They didn't have any sour cream. So now I have to drive a little further to the next grocery store to hopefully get my sour cream. I'm so hungry. It is already 4, 10, and I didn't even eat anything yet, so I'm a little hangry. Bonk. Ah, it's raining, and I don't have an umbrella, and I'm wearing white. Got my sour cream. A while back I made a video on how to make this clam dip. I will link it in the description box if you're interested. We are having ribeye cap steak for dinner. Rustin and I have never tried this, but we heard really good stuff about it. My mom and dad said it was the best steak they ever had. Forgive me if I'm wrong, but I believe it is the skirt of a ribeye steak, which is our favorite part and it's rolled up and they tie it with a string there. It's really thick, it's almost two inches thick. We are really excited to try that tonight. And of course, we gotta pair it up with some grilled onions and mushrooms. Now just waiting for Rustin to get home from work so we can get cooking. Okay, we seasoned it up. Look how fat this piece is. Honey 
finally came home. Hi. What a fail. We tried to use this thermometer for the first time and it it's a dead. It didn't even work. Hopefully we cooked it long enough. They say it should be an internal temperature of 130 degrees Fahrenheit. So you can note that if you want to cook some ribeye cap. So we really messed this one up. We thought it was done cooking, so Rustin cut the string and it kind of unraveled and then we noticed it was still very rare on the inside. So we threw it back on the stove to cook longer and then, and basically it unraveled. So that's one piece and that was the other one. I'm sure it'll still taste very good, but Next time, um, we're gonna throw it in the oven first. You can see as it unraveled, it's basically the skirt of two slabs of steak. Mmm. So it's fatty and has all the delicious flavor in it. This might be a little too rare for Rustin's taste, but it's perfect for me. This yeah. was a fail. So you want an internal temperature of 130 degrees Fahrenheit to have a medium rare. Oh yeah, honey, that one's perfect for you. We also have our grilled onions and mushrooms. Go ahead, grab your sashimi. <laughs> I personally like mine rare, so this is actually perfect for me. Cheers. It's good. Mm -hmm. Pretty good, yeah? Mm -hmm. Would you buy it again? Mm -mm. <laughs> I forgot to show you my pedicure. I went with nude this time. Love it. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap up today's vlog, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Good night. All right. Shh. I'm about to do some ASMR, and I hear you're crunching. They sell it just like this in the cereal item. I mean, in the cereal idol. In the cereal aisle. In the cereal aisle.